Yo, 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 big kish back up in here. Man, they saying Offset and Cardi B got something going on, man. I'm right back at it. <laughs> but yeah, man, they all, oh, man. I heard this one joke. They said every time Offset cheat, <laughs> Cardi B wind up pregnant. <laughs> they are, oh, man. This is funny. This is funny. Let's see what they got going on. The title reads, Offset comes for Cardi B for stealing her money. I think it meant to say his money or something. Offset's kid hate him. I don't think that's true. I've seen them playing with each other and all that. They, 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 his kids love him. But yeah, let's see what this is, man. Let's get, let's get, get, get it. I recently posted a cryptic message warning fans about people who eat off you and still hate because they ain't pop on their own. And I'm just sitting here like, I hope he is not referring to Cardi B. Because from what I've heard of the two, he is the broke one who has been eating off Cardi. Chow, is he just casually subbing himself or is Offset really trying to imply that Cardi B stole his money? Of course, by now, y'all know that Cardi B filed for divorce from Offset with reports saying that she is seeking primary custody of their children together. About what led to the divorce, one close source said, it's not something that happened overnight. They've both been on the same page. There wasn't pushback. They've grown apart and that feeling has gotten stronger over time. It's become unavoidable. She has no ill will towards him. She's wishing him the best. She's not going into this next season of her life with any beef or any drama. She wants everything to be very peaceful. A rep for Cardi also said that the divorce filing is not based on cheating rumors, but rather has been a long time coming and that Cardi and Offset have been growing apart for a long time and they're just disconnected from each other. In addition to this, another source also told People Magazine, as a mom, she expects a partner that contributes fully and that puts the family first. This just wasn't happening. In general, he just doesn't support her like a husband should. She needs good vibes and positive energy only in her life. Um, Cardi kind of said that the People report was not. Man, for y'all people that's married with children, stay married. S just stay married. Stop coming out in these streets and you need stop doing that. Just stay married. If y'all got to separate, separate. Just stay married. Y'all run around and stop doing that. Not accurate. And actually clap back saying that she has no idea who is speaking on her behalf. In her words, quote, Okay, this is getting weird because I can say that he helps me a lot with my business and the kids. Never in my career, no matter what I went through, I had friends or family go to the media. So I don't know who is this darn source going to People Magazine. Even with my filing, I'm not asking for child support. My claim is for him to only pay for the bills he already pays for on the kids and the new one. Well, now there's a whole new twist to this divorce drama because with people wondering whether Offset was recently trying to imply that Cardi stole his money. What happened was that Offset uploaded a post to his Instagram story sharing a black and white portrait of himself that was given obituary and wrote in the caption, a ninja will live with you, eat off you, help his family and still be hating inside cause they ain't pop on their own, be the ninja blaming the world for his F ups, sucka. Sheesh, I know a lot of people did not even understand what Offset was talking about because punctuation was not in the group chat. But what he was basically saying was that somebody lived off him and they are still hating on him. Now, like I said, a lot of people thought that he was referring to Cardi, but most people told Offset that he should probably look at the man in the mirror because he was talking about himself. Plus, last time I checked, between Offset and Cardi B, wasn't Offset the broke one? I mean, recently Offset has been making headlines for his financial. Man, I don't think none of these, none of them broke. None of, none of them broke. They doing shows, these, these shows, they be getting paid fifty thousand, hundred thousand dollars. Man, these people not broke, man. Woes, with many outlets reporting that Offset was hit with a federal tax lien of over one point five million on April. Oh God damn! God damn! Oh. Damn, well, shit. Whew. <laughs> they coming to get their money. They, they look, they look, they coming to get theirs. April 23rd. According to a court clerk, the debt remains open and unpaid, and Cardi's name is not attached to that lien. In addition, in another lien, this one filed with the state of California, 
Offset appears to owe another $32,963. And this one was just filed weeks ago on June 11th. The Sun also put out a piece claiming that Cardi B may also be broke. In the article, they noted that Cardi and Offset have been fighting to make payments on their home and are facing foreclosure. Apparently, Cardi B has to pay $3 million in the next two months to secure the mortgage on her luxury Atlanta mansion. Public documents actually show that they've taken out huge mortgages on their Atlanta and New Jersey properties worth $11 million in the past five years. One of the loans for $3 million was only approved in October last year, but the very short-term mortgage was just for one year, and the debt has to be repaid by October 4th, 2024, which is just in over two months. There's some personal business right here. I want to know how this sister be getting this, getting all this, getting all this info. This some, this some info right here. Kiki's T. Oh, she one of them T girls. Oh, that's how she be getting this info. Fine. Honey, as far as Cardi is concerned, Offset may be broke, but she definitely isn't. In fact, in a clapback to The Sun, she said, First of all, The Sun is posting rumors that y'all are making up and sending blind items about. That's why it's no documents, just word of mouth. Everybody gets a loan to buy a house and I've never been behind on any of them. I bought my house in 2021 and put almost 12 million in it. Now look how much I got left. I'm very responsible with money, my bills come before luxury, and I just spent 400,000 on jewelry this month because I also still know how to budget. Stop playing with me. In addition, she also went on one heck of a rant on social media telling everybody that she is not broke. Posting things like, LMAO, y'all bum bees wish. Me and Offset bought that house in 2019 for five million, now it's worth seven. Check the Atlanta market. And no, we not selling it. And if I ever sold it, I would just sell my part to Offset since he loves Atlanta. Throwing salt on my home, hate and bad. She followed that up with another post which read, anyways, LMFAO. It's a lot of reality checks circling around. Cardi also shared a video of her property in New Jersey the next day as she showed off the bedroom and backyard writing, good morning, go get that money. Notice how Cardi was very specific on proving that she's not broke, but there was no mention of Offset not being broke. Yeah. Baby, previous reports already suggested that Cardi B made most of the money for the family since she's all about saving and investing while Offset has always been about spending big money. One of Cardi's friends even told Media Takeout that man spends. Man, you better stay with her, bro. If 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 your if your bread is good, man, you better stay with her, man. Cause once she, if you if you really broke, and you divorce, and she put you on child support, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. His money right. like water, and he's not even hot like that anymore. Watch what his life ends up looking like without Cardi. Apparently, while they both made a lot of money during their marriage, most of the money they have now is Cardi's. There were actually reports claiming that Cardi was planning to drain the money in the bank accounts, and she was also going after the real estate, which include the home in Atlanta, where Cardi and the children stay, and the home in New Jersey, where Cardi's mother stays. So if Offset was talking about somebody eating off him, there's no way that was in reference to Cardi. Okay, okay, I also know that there could be more going on behind the scenes and there also could be a possibility that Cardi did in fact steal Offset's money. I mean, Offset's oh. dad has pretty much oh. suggested in the past that Cardi B only married Offset for his money. Remember when Cardi B previously split up with Offset, Offset, Offset in 20 who? possibility that Cardi did in fact steal Offset's money. I mean, Offset's dad has pretty much suggested in the past that Cardi B his dad thought his dad was homeless or something like that. Only married Offset for his money. Remember when Cardi B previously split up with Offset in 2018, Offset's dad got involved with the drama and he actually seemed to be blaming Cardi B for everything when he wrote on Facebook posts that leaked online. Right now, my family is going through a tumultuous time. Social media is a powerful tool, but certainly no place for family situations. However, our youth, specifically my son's wife, doesn't understand that. She seems to want to take everything to social media without regard to the devastation it has on others, past, present, and future, or specifically what it does to other children. According to Offset's dad, he was sick of people criticizing his rich, famous son, and he specifically said that he believes Offset made a mistake by marrying a hot-headed female like Cardi B. In his words, like hot most head. young adults, he doesn't always do- I'ma tell y'all this. 
Cardi B be spitting some facts sometimes. When she ain't when she ain't up under them people, when she ain't up under them handlers, and she by herself, she she woke. She woke. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. Cardi B be woke. She be woke when she ain't got them handlers above her and all that stuff. She, 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 she woke. She, she understands. She understands. Do what he's advised to do. But we are talking about a 25 year old with an unlimited supply of money, women chasing him, people at his disposal, etc. Couple that with a hot headed female that thrives off of social media attention and is on the same financial level as or above him. And it's a recipe for disaster. As a matter of fact, this entire family has been trolling Cardi, and when she broke up with Offset towards the end of 2023, Offset's sister responded to a person who said, women really be wanting you to be rich and not cheap, just irrational. By saying with laughing emojis, they really are just a man. So they really believe that Cardi B only married Offset for his money and fame. What are those? They really got people out here looking like, uh, Mega Man, man. Y'all remember Mega Man? And is now on a mission to make him broke. And to add on to that, we also have people who believe that the divorce was Cardi's grand scheme to make sure she gets everything and leaves Offset broke. Whether or not it's payback for all the humiliation and the embarrassment, I don't really know. In other news, allegedly all these divorce shenanigans are not sitting well with Cardi's kids because they can pick up the energy. Remember Offset also has other children with other baby mamas and reportedly this divorce is only going to complicate their arrangements even more and they all hate it. I know you <laughs> it's kids. definitely a lot going on, but do you think that Offset was referring to Cardi B with his cryptic post? And do you also believe that the divorce was Cardi's grand plan to leave him broke? Sound off in the comment section. Nah, I don't nobody care about that for real, for real. Oh man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this tea. The the tea. Oh man. Yeah, we about to uh drop some woke videos, man. Just had to see, had to gauge and see. I I just really want to see what y'all like. Cause y'all don't be letting me know what y'all be wanting to see. Y'all do not be letting me know what y'all want to see. I'll be like, yo, even with the giveaway, listen, man. This 20K giveaway is going to be a surprise. That's why I ain't been making no announcements. When we reach 20K, 82% of people who watch the content is not subscribed. When we reach 80, I went, when we reach 20K subscribers, there's going to be a surprise giveaway that was way better than the giveaways uh, last two times, the last two giveaways gonna be way better than the hundred the hundred dollars the hundred fifty dollars and the, the gimbal and the fifty dollars and the hundred dollars is gonna be way better than that this time it's gonna be five winners and i ain't gonna drop the number on y'all yet but yeah y'all y'all sitting up there not subscribing just watching subscribe so we could get to the 20k so we could get this giveaway away so we could do this giveaway and it won't be on instagram y'all coming in we ain't doing all that because the last winners, I had to chase them down. It's like I got to chase people down just to give them money. What, like, where they do that at? You know what I mean? But I will be um, re repeating this again in the beginning of the next video. But, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this tea. Big Kish signing out. I'm gone.